Many of you have astutely asked me how to make a primary alcohol with the Grignard reagent. You remember or you've already watched the episode where I reacted a Grignard reagent with an aldehyde. It made a secondary alcohol. And if I react it with a ketone, I end up with a tertiary alcohol. But how do you make a primary alcohol? Well, the answer is you have to use an epoxide, which is a carbon chain in a ring, but oxygen is one of the members of that ring. We call it a heteroatom because it's not or different than carbon. Here we have our Grignard reagent, any length carbon chain connected to Mg connected to X. And for the billionth time, I'll tell you that you do that by mixing the alkyl halide, same length carbon chain, with solid magnesium in dry ether, not water. That's how you make that. But this is the same as R with a lone pair, AKA it's a strong nucleophile. It attacks things that are delta plus. Here is a carbon that is delta plus because it's attached to oxygen and oxygen is electronegative. Now this carbon is also delta plus. I'm just gonna show the attack on this particular carbon, but it could just as easily attack that one, etc. So we have this lone, well, it's not really a lone pair, but we're gonna treat it like it is, attack that carbon. It ends up breaking the CO single bond here, forcing it to become a lone pair on the oxygen. This should remind you of a the backside attack in an SN2 reaction, a nucleophilic substitution between two molecules or where there's two molecules colliding in the rate determining step, et cetera, et cetera. But we've now broken this CO bond. We no longer have a ring. I'm gonna draw this the same way. We still have our oxygen, but it now has an extra lone pair and a minus charge. Instead of a connection to the oxygen, we have a connection to this R group. This minus charge is somewhat mitigated by the MGX with a positive charge that complexes with it. But what really matters is that when you mix this with aqueous acid, the O minus group steals an H and you end up with an OH group. Note that because we broke a carbon oxygen bond in the reaction of the Grignard with the epoxide, this O is only attached to one other carbon, making it a primary alcohol. The number of carbons in the original ring, it was a five membered ring, but one of them was oxygen. So it was one, two, three, four carbons. Four carbons are added to the R chain here. If this had have been, I don't know, propyl chloride, let me emphasize that that's CH3, CH2, CH2, uh, Cl. We are adding three carbons to the chain, which makes this hept. That's four plus four plus three makes seven carbons in this chain. It has to be a one all because that's, I mean, it's on carbon one and you guys asked for primary alcohols. So it's always one here, all right? Anyways, it's pretty straightforward. Use a green reagent with an epoxide if you need the primary alcohol. Secondary or tertiary alcohol, again, an aldehyde or a ketone will do and they're easier to have around than epoxides. So that's how it goes, all right? Any alcohol you can make with a Grignard though, and that's the way it is. Best of luck.